I visited Coral Cliff and this is how it went. <music> Before we left, I had to ensure that I had all my essentials, including my mask and my hand sanitizer, which was attached to my bag for easy access. Y'all, the sun decided to take an early shift, and you know what that means. Yep, you guessed it, or maybe you didn't. It was drizzling, but I wasn't going to let that stop me from having fun today. Honestly, I was just grateful for the opportunity to go out and have fun while keeping with the COVID-19 protocols. So guys, we're currently here at Coral Cliff, so we're just going to enter through the back right there and I also want to show you something that I thought this was real. Yes y'all, I really thought that was real. It's giving Tarzan vibes. Upon arrival, sounds like I'm doing a report. The security guard checked my temperature and instructed me to go to the hand sanitizing station. Upstairs is the 18 and plus area, which I quickly found out by the amount of numbers being displayed. So I went downstairs, which is where the games were located. And I had to show y'all this wonderful view here. It was really nice and I just couldn't go without recording it. Yes, I had to sit on the infamous coral cliff chair. I've seen dozens of photos in this. I had to have my princess moment, okay? I want to show you an overview of the left side downstairs if you were coming through the front entrance. music in the background but there's just so many games to choose from <laughs> so the first game I decided to play was this car game I don't remember the name right now I'll probably put it on the screen The controls were not working in my favor. I was trying my best just to stay on the road. It was that bad. <laughs> you can see the panic in my eyes. <laughs> It was to the point where I was crashing into other cars. At the end, I was like, nope, not again. <laughs> Then my brother decided to give it a go. He obviously did better than me. He's a pro at driving. 
both in real life and virtually. tried out was the I'm pretty sure it's called Moto GP. To be honest I like this one better than the car game just because it was more like realistic to me since we were actually on a model bike and I also took a picture there I'm not sure if you could see it but I was holding a peace sign yeah I love that sign. over to the right side which was equally as pleasant with lots of neon lights At this point, I'm convinced that my brother is a pro at this game. He won both matches. As y'all can see, he came first. We gave him his moment.
in the end, we won a total of 145 tickets, so that's nice. was like oh let me let me show you how it's done um newsflash you didn't get it either so <laughs> i was really looking forward to winning one of those stuffed toys but it's okay <laughs> the final game i played was sink it the objective of this was to either hit the cups or throw the balls in the cups. So I opted for throwing the balls in the cups since it was easier and yeah, I think I had two successful rounds before my time was up. I couldn't vlog without showing you the wonderful scenery at the front, inclusive of a waterfall. And you can see the coral cliff sign. You can get some really nice photos here. A close-up view of the side and of course we had to say hello to my elephant friend right here we got some really great pics with him so thank you very much buddy <laughs> then it was time to go so we headed to the parking lot breaking was close by so we decided to go there Of course, if you know me, you know that we can't go anywhere without Man Pete. I mean, come on. You have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me your thoughts down below if you've ever went to Coral Cliff or even if not based on this video. What do you think about it?